Hi everybody. Ah, it's kind of wobbly right here. I'm just gonna go turn the TV off a little bit. Welcome to the live chat. Yeah, that didn't quite happen as I wanted to. Turning out the lights. Just so we can see each other a little bit better. Hi, welcome to the live chat. Auto Mix. Thank you so very much for joining the live chat. We are gonna bake bread today. And uh, here is what we are gonna need. I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see the work surface. We are gonna need 10 ounces of lukewarm water. Also, we are gonna need five ounces of milk and two ounces of olive oil. So let's figure the water out first, right from the tap. It's, um, Nice and warm, just what we need. This is about 12 ounces. So we have 10 ounces of water. I'm gonna put it in the bowl right away. So it warms the bowl up a little bit. We are gonna add five ounces of milk. And I'm gonna zap the milk for about 10 seconds, just so it's not so cold from the fridge. I will add my one tablespoon of yeast. Into the warm water. I'm gonna add the warm milk into the bowl on top of the warm water and the yeast. Where are you from, Automix 81? I'm gonna measure two ounces of oil, olive oil. You can use whichever oil you prefer. I'm 
gonna make sure that all the oil is in here. Hi, Christina, welcome to the live chat. You are such a good sport, always here supporting. Thank you very much. And right now I am gonna measure out about a cup of wheat flour. Or so. It's just about right. I'm going to add this to the bowl. And we need three and a third of a cup of regular flour. This is two cups. And hi, Jacqueline, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. And I need another cup and a little bit, cup and a third still, to make the three and a third cup of flour. We're gonna need some flour on hand when uh, we're gonna prepare the bread after the resting period. It's time to add the salt. I like to mix the salts that I use and we're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. And I like some, a little bit of kosher salt just because it's a little bit coarser. and add regular salt to make the one teaspoon of salt and add it on top of the flour. Why do I do that? It's because salt will inhibit the yeast from blooming. So I do like to add it at the end. And we are gonna start the mixer. I like to give it a little bit of a mix just because I want that elastin to form for my bread and um, if you're not working it just a little bit then it's not gonna happen I tried it with very little kneading and the bread turns out mealy and I do not like that. I um, like to play with the speeds that I'm mixing the dough and I do not like to use the hook just because the short time that we are kneading the dough. And that should be just about right. I am gonna clean the mixing palette.
and uh, I am gonna gather all the dough to the middle of the bowl. And we are gonna cover it with saran wrap and a kitchen towel. This time I'm gonna cover the, take off the pallet. Clean the palette in just a minute. This and the kitchen towel. It's gonna need a little time to rise. About an hour, half an hour, an hour. And gonna make a little room right here. And I did get a request for the new trending coffee. And uh, it's gonna be fun while we are doing the waiting on the bread. So, what we are gonna need for this part is we're gonna need some instant coffee. We are gonna need a mixing bowl. and a whisk. And we are gonna take two teaspoons of instant coffee, whichever instant coffee you prefer. about two teaspoons of sugar. And about two teaspoons of water. And I prefer to add one teaspoon of water right now and we'll add the other one a little bit later. And we need to mix this instant coffee until we get a nice frothy composition. Team Pool Vlogs, hello, thank you for tuning in. And from what I understand, this is the new trending coffee that is going on right now. And at this point, I'm ready to add the other te teaspoon of water. And keep on mixing. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you have a hand mixer, go ahead and use that. I uh, have been stuck in the house for a while, so any little workout, it's welcome. So I prefer to do it by hand.
instant coffee. It's really good if you make a uh, icing for a cake also. There are some recipes out there that use instant coffee for cakes and uh, it has a very, very nice taste. And you guys know I like my coffee. Thank you again for tuning in to the live chat. There is nothing else we can do. We're stuck at home. And look how nicely it blends the sugar with the instant coffee. This is gonna be so much fun. gonna be a longer stream this time just because of the necessity of the bread to rest but it's so good I modified it a little bit from my original bread recipe okay so here is the mixed Frotty instant coffee and we are going to need a glass, glass cup, so to speak, and we're going to need a couple of ice cubes. We're gonna add some milk to it. And we are gonna add our instant coffee to it. get all that yumminess into our glass. you can add as much or as little as you prefer and then we add a little bit more on top of it just to make it super appealing and pretty. A little bit of sugar on top and here is our new coffee. It does have a name but for right now I am at 
a little bit of a loss to remember it. I will look it up and let you guys know what's the name of it. So, here we are. Give it a nice mix when you're ready to drink your iced coffee, iced instant coffee. And it is quite strong. Just so you guys know, it is quite strong, but it is really, really, really tasty. Hi, and here's the coffee. Hmm. Very nice. I actually like it quite a bit. It is really good and it has a name. I just found out about it yesterday. And uh, one of my friends is uh, one of my subscribers um, asked me to share this recipe. It is really delicious. And um, it is really strong also. So that's why you need to do the milk versus water. And it's not a big deal. It works out very, very nicely. I'm used to drinking instant coffee every once in a while. I do make the froth, but I use warm water to it or hot water. And it just makes it into a coffee with a little bit of froth on top of it. But this, it's just a little bit different and it's quite nice. Thank you. Well, of course, I will check out the name of it if you guys give me a second and I will let you know exactly what it is called. I will let you know in just a minute. Dalgona coffee, that is the name of it, Dalgona coffee. So it is the new super trend that's going on right now, which is, yes, just a little bit of Bailey's and uh, you are set. I do not have Bailey's at home and uh, oh well. This time it's good just like this. It is very nice. I like it. Mm, that's gonna keep me up quite for quite a while. <laughs> okay, you guys, I do need to clean the mixing palette for my mixer just so we can use it a little bit later i only have one mixing palette and one mixer but that's okay i need to you know those uh big chefs on tv and uh in their restaurants or whatever they have a little bit more equipment and they can use quite a few of them before they need to and they do have a lot of assistants that help them quite a little bit oh my god it is i am i don't know what to do with myself let's put it that this way i'm starting my sec what am I talking about? I'm starting my third week of staying at home. Um, it is good because it cuts down on the chance that 
we are gonna get infected or sick or however i would definitely not like to be a carrier and um, be unaware of it but it is getting it's getting quite tough it's getting quite tough i am in a condominium so the problem is i do not have a backyard to go outside on in the backyard and just enjoy at least over there i do have a balcony however so that helps quite a little bit but I am so ready to go back to work and uh, get out of the house a little bit. Oh, you're making the coffee, Jacqueline? Oh, it, you're going to like it. It has, for whatever reason, a little salty taste, but maybe that's just me. Lately, too much sugar, you know, and... Uh, I'm, my stomach is kind of not happy with it. I'm having a little bit of acid from too much sugar. But I do like this. And, uh, it's not bad at all. It is a little bit salty. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but I like it. I like carbs sea salt caramel stuff so I don't mind it at all but it is my new favorite drink especially in the summertime when uh, it's gonna be nice hot out there a little bit of ice instant coffee it's gonna be really good Excuse me. So, you guys, we have about another half an hour to wait for the first part of the bread making. And uh, for this, we are going to need to move the rack in the oven to the lowest part possible well not quite possible but so it's not in the middle it is lower than the middle so it has a nice air you know enough room to rise to bake and not bake too fast and uh, it's coffee everywhere now <laughs> oh my gosh my nails are terrible i can't wait to get back to work and do my nails though i'm still gonna have to wait a little bit my clients will be the priority on that one also so but i'm gonna be super happy to see my clients and uh let me tell you, I am i don't have stuff at home for my nails. Can you believe it? But I do nails so much at work that I don't want to have anything at home. I do have a file, which is kind of worn down a little bit, but I guess I'm going to have to start using it because we are expecting to have to stay home maybe a little bit longer i don't know but we'll see we are kind of going a little bit stark crazy over here yeah let me know how they work for you jacqueline i'm never use the press-ons so i do not know how that will work So what else is going on with you guys? 
I know. <laughs> I know a lot of my clients are texting me. How are you? Are you back? No, you're not. I miss you. My nails miss you. I know. We miss you guys too, just so you know. And my coworkers, the hairdressers, they do miss you guys also. And uh, we're kind of bracing for the work we're gonna have to do to fix whatever you guys did at home, playing with your nails or with your hair. Our advice is don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. And I do suspect I'm gonna have a lot of full sets versus fills because I don't care how good you are, no fill will last you for this long. And uh, with all the washing of the hands and all that, you will have lifting. And your roots on your hair and your foils and your colors, oh my goodness, it's gonna be a lot of work to get back to our fairly normal selves. But we will <laughs> yes, we are a little bit of that too. We are listening. We're good listeners. I think we're good talkers too sometimes, but it is fun when you have a lot of people come in. You touch a lot of subjects. Everybody has different interests. Their jobs are different from one another, so it is not boring at all versus staying at home and watching the news or movies or sitting on a couch. It is so darn tiring. We will be okay as long as we keep our social distances. Not social, let's call it physical distance. I think that it's more accurate versus the social. We're on socially connecting right now, but not physically. It's going to be... Okay, if we keep to it, wash our hands and uh, try to make it easy on the first responders and the medical professionals. They are really in the first line. So I really do appreciate them. And let's not forget the truck drivers that supply our stores and uh, Keep us fed. Let's put, put it so. <clears throat> I am going to take a peek at my dough. I shouldn't, but. Yes, it's really hard to be patient when you've been patient for more than two weeks, you know. <laughs> And I bet we're going to have quite a few discussions with our clients about what they did at home. Well, maybe not much, but I bet everybody is cleaning and cooking like there is nothing else to do on earth. I, my furniture is really shiny. Let's put it that way. I cleaned that a few times. And my husband pulled away the fridge and we cleaned behind and under and same with the stove. All I have to do now is clean my stove inside. That's gonna be a job for a whole day, let's say that. But other than that, I mean, what can we do to keep ourselves busy? Read a little bit the books that you did not ever have the time to read. And I think it's really funny when everybody was busy with work, with kids, with schedules, with meetings, with what have you, everybody was like, oh my goodness, just one day, two days, three days to just sit and do nothing. Now that's what we're doing and it's not good either. So it's never good enough. Something needs to be different than what we have. 
but I do believe we're gonna be okay. And I'm making ways with my coffee. Hmm. I like it. I really like it. <clears throat> Yes, early spring cleaning and then uh, mid-spring cleaning. <laughs> oh my goodness, I arranged and rearranged my closets and the dressers and everything in between. I still need to do the pantry rearrange it a little bit just because it doesn't matter if I do it I go in and out in and out so many times that it's always getting a little out of order so I have to do that one again and go through my freezer see what I should use right now and what I can keep there in the back a little bit more Thankfully, my husband goes to the store and gets a little bit of fresh produce every once in a while and stuff like that. The food supply, it's plentiful. We don't have to worry about that, which is nice and it is really appreciated. So we do what we can to keep ourselves busy, right? That's why we're baking bread right now. I do like homemade bread. It is so good. And it smells so heavenly. I love it. I keep playing with the recipe. As it says in the title, it's okay to play with food. And uh, white bread, just plain flour, it's fine. But I like a little bit of wheat in it and you can do some sunflower seeds or some sesame seeds on top of it you can do also pumpkin seeds if you have and if you like it it makes for a little bit of a variety in uh, our diet, just so. And uh, it's fun to play with it. And we are gonna have hot sandwiches tonight. I have one of those sandwich presses and put a little bit of coconuts, some cream cheese, a couple of slices of pickles, press it, heat it up with a nice tea. That's gonna be dinner for tonight. And I know I don't make that one very often, but now that I'm baking the bread and I'm making it into a loaf versus the round bread that I had posted previously, I can cut it in slices and put it in the hot sandwich press. It's nothing fancy, it's just one of those at home things. And you can use whatever you want. If you have some leftover pulled pork or if you grilled and you have some, just slice it up, cut it up. So you can put it in between the two slices of bread it warms up. Ooh. Christina is making baguettes with... Um, hang on. I'm thinking of, on it. Um, I think it's the, the mother... Sourdough kind of a... Thing. I have never made it. I do not have that, but 
maybe in the future we're gonna try it and she's doing the first try we'll see how it turns out and um, the only problem with making bread at home is you're gonna eat it so what i do as soon as it's cold i cut it in two let it cool down all the way if i make a round bread if i make loaves then one of them it's going in the freezer as soon as it's cold just because if i leave it on the counter we are gonna eat it and it's good but it's not good <laughs> Yes, um, that's the only problem that all the baking is going on here. Let me tell you, I think I feel it a little bit. We're going to need to switch to some salads or something like that in the near future. Go out grazing as soon as we can go out of the house. <laughs> but... Yes, and for those who are gluten-free, on a gluten-free diet or allergic to gluten, and uh, you can find flour at Costco that is gluten-free. You can use different kind of flours. And I do believe that the mix they have at Costco, you can use it one for one. So if you need four cups of flour, regular flour, you can use four cups of the blend they have at Costco. Rice flour, people are using rice flour. That's a little bit different when you make the conversion, but... Uh, you can play with it, see what works for you and what does not work for you. Um, some people are not using yeast, so I'm thinking for that you can use baking powder or you can use baking soda with a tiny little bit of vinegar white vinegar in order to make the rising process happen. I did have that question quite a while ago. Somebody asked me that they cannot use yeast. What should they use? And I think that would be a good substitute. I'm not sure about the quantity, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Maybe one day I will try it. Sourdough. Yes, you're making sourdough bread, Christina. That's what I thought. But there is a um, term for the... starter that you're using. I think it, that's what it is, the starter for the sourdough. And you're going to have to let me know how that turned out. I am very, very happy, though, you guys. The sun is out, and it does so good to the body, to the brain, to the mind. It is so good to see a little bit of sunshine. As you guys know, I'm in Seattle and it rains here like nowhere else. But even that one, it gets kind of tiring after a while. But if it doesn't rain in a week, then we're asking, where is the rain? If you're getting used to the weather. And we are almost there with the bread. I am so excited sunshine it is everything just looking at the sunshine makes a big difference it absolutely does okay sweetie thank you so very much for stopping on your break
to chat with us. You are super sweet. Thank you so very much. You're a very good friend and very, very supporting. So let me know when you're making the coffee, how you like it. It's probably. I am kind of taking a peek at the TV also to see if there is any updates, but not as of right now, which is okay. We don't mind that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we are gonna start preparing the little pans for our bread. Give me one second, let me rinse my hands off. We are washing hands like crazy. By the way, you guys, if you are facing the same thing I am, my hands are really, really dry, really, really starting to crack because of the, how many times we're washing hands right now. So my advice as a professional is, use a little bit of Neosporin on your hand before you go to bed. Put a little bit, wait five minutes, then put regular lotion over and just let it be overnight. Do that before you go to bed so it has time to absorb into the skin and you don't wash it off five minutes later while you're doing stuff. It's gonna make a difference. Do this for a couple of days. You're gonna have to do it for a few days, but it's gonna make all the difference in the world. Okay, so we have our two pans for the bread and I am gonna use a little bit of butter to smear the pan. And the butter, I usually keep it in a freezer. And when I'm doing this, I take it out maybe half an hour before that. And just with a block, it makes it so easy. I don't need to use flour on the pans this time. So just simple. Watching this is really, really cool. Say hello to each other. Now I know Jacqueline, she's working from a home. But what are you guys doing these days, nowadays, while well, you have to stay at home? Our 
two loaf pans are ready for whenever we need them. I'm just trying to do something. Hi, Roxy, Cat, Cat Roxy, how are you, Adele? I'm doing good, and uh, of course I made coffee, but this is instant coffee. It's a new twist on it, which I actually really like. No, don't worry about it. I know you went to visit your mom. How is she doing? I hope she's okay. I hope you're okay. Yeah, I know, me and my coffee. <laughs> You're so welcome, Christina. Mm, it is later, okay. So it's, um, I hope she's doing okay and she's in good spirits in about an hour, okay. No problem. No problem. Yes. So I'll take another peek at my bread. Though. Ooh, it's happening, people. It's happening. I have about 10 more minutes to wait. Yeah. That needs to happen. Somebody needs... Oh, I'm making bread. Thank you very much. I uh, modified my original bread recipe and uh, we're making bread right now for i'm gonna use it for dinner i'm gonna make hot sandwiches so i need bread in a loaf shape of course no problem get on it you can catch up <laughs> And it is not that hard to do. It's not a lot of work, but it's a lot of waiting on it. And uh, it's, uh, it's good. Yes, it is so good. And it smells so awesome. And uh, yeah. You can make this one. I know you don't really like to stay in the kitchen that much but this one you can make it's not a lot of work it's quite easy it is quite easy you just mix it a little bit and then you have to wait 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 but uh, yes and this adele it's instant coffee mixed with sugar and a little bit of water and uh, really whisked into a froth and it has milk and ice. It is so good. I know, I'm used to drinking instant coffee with water, but this, it has a nice twist on it. Actually, it's really nice. It's gonna be perfect in the summer. Okay, and here we are. I'm gonna let you guys see the dough. There it is. The beautiful dough that we have. We're gonna give it another quick mix for about a minute or so. it off the palate and uh, we're gonna rest let it rest for another half an hour or so
We're gonna recover. And the kitchen towel again, but right now I can get rid of my mixer. We are not gonna need it. Oh, thanks Roxy and Roxy's twin. That's cute. Thank you so very much. And I'm just gonna wipe down my mixer here and get it out of the way. Yes. Okay, you're gonna make coffee? <laughs> I know I'm hooking everybody up on coffee. Which is so funny. Okay, so while we're doing another little bit of waiting here on the bread, Hi guys, oh yay, I have eight people watching. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I hope everybody's doing okay. And yes, she, Jack was a little bit earlier on, yeah, on her break, on her lunch break, and now she's back at work, but she'll be back on her next break. I'm still gonna be here. This is gonna take a little while. So right now we have another half an hour to wait for the bread to rest a little bit. It worked really, really hard, so it needs a break. And um, meantime, we're gonna enjoy the coffee. But you really do, in order to appreciate this coffee, you have to make it into a glass. If it's in a coffee mug, you can't appreciate it. You don't see the beautiful colors when it starts to mix. So I really do recommend to use a glass. It is so good. <laughs> I love it. I'm, uh, one of these days I'm gonna go and see if uh, I can find that um, caramel sugar, caramely sugar, not the brown sugar, like for decoration and stuff, you know? And uh, I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on it. We'll see how that looks like. Oh yeah. You're, made, you're done with, did you make your coffee? Good. <laughs> this will keep us up and awake so we don't fall asleep while we're waiting for the bread to rise here. Okay, so what else are you guys talking about? How are you coping? I know I asked this a few times, but it is the subject of the time. The good news is that if some people that went through the coronavirus and they had it and now they are on demand, the, they can use their blood to try to make a vaccine and use the antibodies, which it's gonna be really, really nice. So hopefully that'll help the humanity. We'll see. I'm just um, worried that we're gonna have to stay extra time at home. I'm worried, but we're gonna do it, of course, because we need to in order to get this 
stopped in its tracks and give our researchers time to come up with a vaccine or a something that can help people. So we're not hit quite this hard. And uh, yeah, I'm, I don't understand you, um, Adele. How can you not like coffee? I mean, I'm sorry. I don't understand people who don't like coffee. Coffee is good. <laughs> I I can't even imagine going a day without a coffee. That would be like the ultimate punishment for me. I'm usually normal times I have 2 3 cups of coffee in the morning and then I'm done for the day. But right now, who cares what time I go to sleep because I don't have to wake up in the morning to go to work so I can have coffee a little bit later in the day. <laughs> yeah, it's a hobby for you. I um, I feel that, mm, no, I do like the coffee. I like the taste of coffee. I just don't, and I have particular requirements for it. I don't like it to be too burnt or too bitter. I drink it to enjoy it. I don't want to suffer through drinking coffee, that's for sure. <laughs> mm. So at this point, you guys, I know I'm working way ahead of me, but we need to flower the surface that we're going to work on. And uh, just a little bit of flower on your working surface. And we're having it ready. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a lot of sugar and milk. I usually don't use milk. I use a little bit of creamer in my coffee and no sugar. But this time, just because it's the instant and that's the new trend, the trending coffee, um, I used milk and it's actually, I like it quite a bit. So I will make this a little bit more often. Definitely. So, I am trying very patiently not to bother the dough for the bread, but it's really, really, really hard. I don't have a lot of patience for that, unfortunately. And, uh, Ooh, honey and syrup. I haven't had coffee with honey, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna give it a try. Sounds good, actually. That sounds really good. And, um, yeah, that's gonna be something that I probably will try to give it a, a taste one of these days when boredom hits too much. <laughs> mm. I'm getting through it, you guys. I may have to make another one a little bit later. <laughs> Okay, I will give it a try, Adele. I will definitely give it a try because now I am intrigued about coffee and honey. That sounds really, really nice. And... Uh, I will put away the stuff that I'm not using anymore, okay, you guys? So. Um, 
I don't need the milk either. Because I'm done with it. I don't need the salt and or the oil. Uh, rum. Oh, yeah. In the coffee. Hmm. Very intriguing. <laughs> if I have a cold, I drink tea and put honey in it. I'm okay with that. That I like. But, um, yeah, I like my coffee tasting like coffee with a hint of vanilla just a little bit. But um, I'm thinking this instant coffee that I made today, maybe I'll get some Baileys and add to it. We'll see how that goes. Just so we can play with stuff. Why not? That's the one. Chamomile tea with honey and lemon juice if you have a cold. Absolutely. I'm not really a tea drinker, but I will have tea tonight with my hot sandwiches for dinner. That's gonna be dinner. And uh, I don't have a cold, thank God. So we'll, we'll keep it that way. We will definitely keep it that way. And uh, what have you been up to? I heard it was a Roxy's birthday. How old is Roxy nowadays? I happy birthday to Roxy. Okay, gotcha. That's why you were late. Well, there you go. How old is she? It's a secret because she's a girl. She's not gonna tell us. Oh, she is eight? Oh my goodness, she's a mature young lady, ain't she? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go and check out the video that you just posted. That's gonna be fun. I know, I had the same problem when I was watching um, Jack's um, live stream. I was thinking it and my fingers were not working quite so hard. <laughs> uh, fast as my brain was going. I'm like, why it's not happening? <laughs> yes, that is so very true. That is so very true. And it may look really funny on the chat thread because the questions, the answers are a little bit off. <laughs> Oh, you do? <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. That is so funny. Okay, so. Yeah, I can't use a stick anyhow, but... Uh, if it helps you, then use it. Why not? Why not? Okay, you guys. So, let's uh, deal with the bread. I don't know. 
I don't know why I've, I've never used the stick. I don't have one of those stylus pans, so I don't know if it would work or not. So here is the dough and just put it on your floured surface. Oh, look at that, pretty, very, very, very pretty. And I'm just gonna split the dough into approximate little pieces and just a little bit more flour and I will just fold the bread a little bit and tuck in the ends just like this okay and place it in the pan there we go and then follow with the second one same thing, just stuck in the ends. Put it in the pan. And now these babies will have to sit here a little bit until they hit almost the rim of the pan, almost. Meantime, cover it with just the kitchen towel this time, you guys. And we're gonna let it sit here for a little while. And you know what I'm really happy about it today, you guys? There is no lag in the video. So, knock on wood. Let's hope it'll stay like that. Oh, thank you. You noticed them last time? I know. I like my towels. They're so cute. They are so cute. I like them. <laughs> I know you pay attention to everything I'm doing, which is very nice and flattering. Thank you so very much. Yes, indeed. And uh, well, this is happening, you guys. I'm gonna start cleaning up after myself just to give me something to do. Okay, and uh, oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And uh, the stuff that I'm baking with, I don't like to put in the dishwasher. So I like to wash them by hand. So, oh, thank you. I know, I am so glad you think so. And, uh, I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Oh, see, she's back. Hi, Arm, your wife. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. You're such a sweetie. Thank you so very much. How are things in your neck of the woods? Are you guys doing okay? I hope you guys are staying inside and safe and all that stuff. Thanks for joining our coffee club. 
Jackie and Roxy made coffee just a little bit earlier. I know, but Sun will watch it later. She always does. She is such a sweetie. So, I know, but it's just one of those things that it's happening. It's the time zone differences. Okay, I'm glad you guys are good. And uh, I just love your kitchen. It's so close to my kitchen. The countertops are the same. And even the cabinets are very, very close to it. I keep watching you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, she's right. Same top countertop. And even the cabinets are very, very similar, which is funny. But, yeah, I, uh, I really like, enjoy watching your guys' posts, which is very nice. And there is a lot of stuff to see so we don't get bored. And, uh. Just uh, cleaning up here after the new coffee recipe. <laughs> and uh, as I was saying, I do not like to put the stuff that I bake with, especially the mixer components into the dishwasher. I don't think it's good for them. And uh, this is such a little thing and I did not even use a lot of stuff. So it's easy to just rinse off by hand. And Nine people are watching. Yay! And um, I really hope you guys this stuff will end soon because so much many people are suffering well it's not that bad washing them it's okay i actually i don't mind it i don't mind it at all uh considering that i don't have to knead the dough by hand for a long time it's a good trade-off <laughs> it is a good trade-off I don't mind this part quite at all. So, especially because I did not do any meats, any raw stuff, just a little bit of flour and that's it. So not a big deal. And uh, it just makes the, lot, the time go by just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's really, really, really sad. Um, the general idea was that young people are not affected by the virus, but it does turn out that they are. And uh, it's really heartbreaking to see. I'm just thinking of the poor parents and relatives and all that. It's, uh, 
Yes, this, it's so, so tough to see anybody suffer for that matter. And unfortunately, as we saw, everybody can be touched by this terrible disease. And I think the biggest problem is it was new and nobody had an idea which way it's going to go and what are the effects on it. And it, the infection and the spread of it was super fast, super fast, and uh, which is terrible. There are other terrible diseases in the world, of course, but this was, I think everybody was taken by surprise on how fast it spread and uh, how many people, no matter where from, are so terribly affected by it. It's, it's, I know, just stay home. That is the general recommendation, really. And uh, just stay home. That is the best we can all do and give people in the medical community time to figure out how to beat this one. Absolutely. <coughs> My throat got just a little bit kind of dry, so I think I need to take a sip of coffee. Just so. Yes, I know it will take months, but if... Uh, it slows down a little bit the way it spreads, then everybody has a better chance, you know? That's what we need, a little chance. Yes, it is very interesting how devastation takes a second versus recovery. It can take months of work, of research, of everything. It is so amazing in everything. Even if you just, not that I'm comparing the two, but you break a glass or a cup or something and you break it in a second. But it took hours and hours for somebody to make that glass. So it is very interesting how devastation comes so fast compared to recovery. Even let's say if there is an earthquake which happened yesterday in Idaho. You know, it took 30 seconds, but luckily no injuries, but in some parts of the world, in 30 seconds, buildings come down and lives are lost. And it only takes is 30 seconds. And then it takes months, if not years of recovery, which is so terrible, which is so terrible. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. It's it's very, very hard to recover from anything. Damage comes in a second. A word can make a big impact on somebody's psyche or self-esteem or whatever. It's just one word, you know, and then it takes people months to recover from that hurt. It's terrible. Not that I'm comparing the two, but let's not put it that way. But generally speaking, it's, um, yeah. So if we can help those, 
if we can help those that are working to fix things, then we should do so. We should definitely do so. Thank you. And um, just, um, just thinking of all those families that are absolutely devastated for not being able to be there with their loved ones to say goodbye, it's awful. It is awful. But um, these are the times we're living in, unfortunately, and uh, we need to help as much as we can. So, um, yeah. Okay, you guys, I am gonna start the oven just about right now. And we are gonna preheat the oven to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's gonna take a little while. And uh, again, thanks for sticking with me, you guys. It is a very boring recipe because you have to wait for so long and there's nothing to do to it other than wait. We are gonna, I'm gonna, while it's baking, I'm gonna prepare some things to have ready for the hot sandwiches. But uh, not right now. There is too much. There is a little bit more time to wait. You want to party right now? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so funny. <laughs> you are so funny. I am gonna look for my sandwich dress. And this is the sandwich press that I was talking about. Yes, we do have to make the best of the situation we are given. That is for sure. And I'm just going to wipe this sandwich press because it's been sitting there in the closet for a little while. You do, well, if you make this bread, you can make the same sandwiches I am making. And we can have a dinner party from far away. <laughs> yes, it is. I like it because uh, it just gives you a little bit of a Different twist on a regular old sandwich. And it is really good in a pinch when you're out of ideas. It's really, really fun to make. So that one is, uh, 
Oh yes, Jack gave you wine. I always give you coffee. Absolutely. And sandwich at the end of the baking party. <laughs> Yes, but we have to bake the bread before we get the sandwich, you know, just because I can't make this sandwich without the bread. And that's why I am making it in. Now, you know, I don't drink rarely, very rarely. And once in a blue moon, I'll have maybe a little bit of amaretto or, um, no, sorry, not amaretto, di Sarono on the rocks, or a little bit of Bailey's. I use rum when I'm baking and I'm soaking raisins in rum and all that stuff. And I like chocolate with liquor in it. I'm fine with that, but I don't sit down and drink. I could care less. Give me a cup of coffee, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, it's just doesn't tempt me whatsoever. Very rarely. I mean, I can I can have a glass of wine for and have that same glass of wine hold on to it for like three hours. Short of turning into vinegar, you know, I still have it there. I don't I could care less as I'm saying. Rarely, I mean, maybe on our anniversary we'll have a glass of port, but very, very little. And every once in a while, even my husband, I wanna drink a glass of beer, okay? We forget to buy the beer. If we buy a six pack, then he'll have a beer and the other five will go bad in my fridge because nobody's touching it. Tokoi, every... When we visit in Romania, maybe we'll have a little Tokoi, but uh, as I'm saying, very, very rarely. It's... It tempts... It does not tempt me that much. It doesn't. But if you enjoy it, have a glass. Why not? I don't have a problem. Like, if you enjoy it, go ahead and have a glass of wine. As I'm saying, every maybe once a year, we'll have something to drink, but not that often. Not that often. It's just we'll have coffee instead. I can go. My husband and I can go through a bag of Costco coffee in a week if we really apply ourselves. No problem. No problem. We're, we're coffee people more than anything else. And uh, we used to drink a lot of um, pop, like Pepsi and uh, stuff like that. But lately, I'm switching to club soda for whatever reason. I um, don't feel like drinking, not even Pepsi or Coca-Cola for, it just doesn't do it for me right now. Sometimes, yeah, but I'm, I'm getting blah. I talk too much, you know, I need to. <laughs> milk, see, I will have milk with my cereal, but I will not drink a glass of milk. Oh, this one, yeah, because it had coffee in it, so it made it better, but I don't do that either. I bake with a little bit of milk. I'll have it with my cereal cold only cold milk. I'm okay with that. I can't drink, even as a kid, not big on milk or to drink warm milk. Nope, not my thing. Not my thing. Right, cold milk. Mm, okay, it's okay. 
with cereal. Every, very rarely though. <laughs> I'll have yogurt, plain yogurt with croissants. Absolutely, no problem, but eh, everybody's tastes are different and uh, that's what makes us not boring, you know? If everybody would be the same, then life would be really, really, really boring. Mm, 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 mm. I'm peeking at the bread. Of course I do. Of course I do. I can't help myself. I got to see what's going on. <laughs> Yay. Oh, really? You do drink? You know what? I saw a thing on TV where they did a study on what is more hydrating. Water, tea, Pepsi, coffee, milk. And surprise, surprise, the milk is more hydrating than water. And room temperature water, it's more hydrating than cold water. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I just saw this stuff on TV a few months ago, but it was a very interesting study done. Oh yeah, the bread, the dough is working itself up to the rim of the pan and we'll be ready to bake it in a little bit. Yeah, so if you like milk, it is more hydrating than water, believe it or not. And I still have this itty bitty tiny little bit of butter right here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna See, I, I can't drink cold water. That one doesn't do it for me, but room temperature water, I'm. it helps with the thirst if I drink warm room temperature water, not cold. So I still have the little bit of butter over there. So you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna warm it up almost to the melting point if not to the milk tin point. I'm gonna just stick it in the microwave for a few seconds. Yeah. I know, that was very interesting because everybody was like, drink water, drink water. Well, I think milk, it's more, it's better for you if you can drink it. Not everybody can, you know. Jacqueline, um, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Wagwan? Did I say it correctly? Wagwan? <laughs> hey, we're learning another language. <laughs> okay you laugh at me fine that's okay that's okay i'm laughing at myself also <laughs> yeah i'm like hmm <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> oh, 
I'm like, hmm, did I just misread things? What's going on? I lost the conversation. What What's going on? But then, yeah. <laughs> no problem. That's funny. Well, I guess it's a good thing I couldn't see my face when I did that. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. You know, when I was little, I wasn't really happy with Gabriela as a name. I wanted something different like Irina or something like that. But I do appreciate it now. It's not as common as... It seemed when I was little. So I'm glad my mom named me Gabriela also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's just about right. My mom calls me Gabby. <laughs> but that works. And what is your daughter's name? Jessica is such a pretty name. I like Jessica. That Jessica is very pretty. Jess, yeah, Jesse. I know. It's lovely. I like it. I like it. That's a very nice name. I like it a lot. And let me see what's going on with my bread. Mm. Another few minutes. Every name, in my opinion, it's a very nice name. And uh, it reflects you, I think. I don't think there is a bad name or whatever. Every name, it's pretty. Jacqueline, it's very nice, but I have the tendency to pronounce it with a little bit of a French accent and say Jacqueline. I do not know why, but I'm tempted to do that. But Jacqueline is very, very nice. I like that. I like that. Jessica, that's so pretty. Adele, I like Adele also. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the French type of a uh, pronunciation of it, Jacqueline. Yeah, and you are in the French part of Canada, so why not? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. Here is what is gonna happen right now. This is the bread. As you see, it has almost doubled in size. So with this super melted butter, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just a little bit lightly brush the dough. Not all the way, but just a little bit. It's gonna give us a little bit of a crispiness to it. And I still have some of the wheat flour that I used, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top, just a little bit. And right now I'm gonna give it a cut, split down in the middle. And you can do it however you want to, but this will help the bread rise a little bit during the baking process. And in the oven, it goes for about 30 to 35 minutes. It depends on the size of your loaf and on your oven, but we're gonna check it in about 35, 30 minutes. So as I was saying, you guys, hang on just a second. Let me show you the oven. It, the racks are on the bottom part of my oven. And in they go. And we are going to give it a 30 minute on the timer and we're gonna check the bread in 30 minutes. But I do suspect it's gonna take about 35 minutes or so. And now we can put the stuff away, the flour. We don't need the flour anymore. And we are gonna, what? We are gonna prepare the accoutrements for the hot sandwiches. Okay, Adele, no problem. Go ahead and say hi to your mom. and give her a hug from us. And I'll talk to you later, no problem. Thank you, Adele. And we are gonna need some pickles. some ham fresh off the bone very nice and we got this stuff we're gonna get this stuff ready Some 
dry salami right over here and just gonna cut a couple of slices. My husband made a run to the store and got me ham slice of ham slices, which is very nice. It's gonna be yummy. you have a hand of course <laughs> okay just gonna cut it in a little bit smaller pieces I'm gonna slice up the pickles. Gotta have some pickles, otherwise it's not good. I'm gonna use cream cheese, but if you don't have cream cheese at hand, you can use just cheese slices, whichever you like. I uh, like cream cheese and my husband is probably gonna like the jalapeno cream cheese. Yes, Adele, I'm gonna try to stay busy I'm gonna do my best. That's just about it. I don't use tomatoes 
in this particular sandwiches just because I don't like the way they warm up and they're gonna soften the sandwich. I like a little bit of a crispiness to it. So I we're just gonna use butter, cream cheese, and some cold cuts and some pickles. And we do have everything ready, which is very, very early. Let's put it that way, because my bread, it's still baking, one. And second, it needs to cool down a little bit. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit until we're ready to make the sandwiches. And I think I'm gonna need to cut more of the smoked salamis. Let's call them cold cuts. And you can use, obviously, whatever you have at home. Everybody's preferences are different and I'm not gonna get too rounds it makes it easier when you bite into it to have it cut in smaller pieces like this I just might thank you for tuning in. Thank you for visiting. I saw your handiwork transplanting that tree in your backyard. I can't wait for it to be all situated and rerouted in the new spot. It's gonna be fun to see that little tree in all its glory. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, that was very interesting, very cute. Yes, and I liked the way you cleaned the air conditioner also. That was something else. Uh, but yeah, you did a good job on that one also. And uh, we have almost 20 more minutes for the bread to bake. And uh, I'm gonna have the last of my Nouveau coffee. Oh boy. I'm sorry, just taking a peek at the TV to see if there is anything new. We'll see if they're gonna have a press conference a little bit later today. Goodness, Louisiana is in trouble right now. Goodness gracious. Yes. Tough, tough, tough times.
Oh, so no. No breaking news as of right now. And uh, hopefully we're not going to get bad news. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. So... The part that um, I'm confused with, some experts say that we should wear the mask in public, just some sort of a mask, and some say that it makes no difference. Now, in my opinion, every little bit helps. So, I don't know. We'll see. And uh, hopefully it won't have long-term effects on our health. So we'll, we'll be okay. Hey, Tim's vlog. Thank you for tuning in, Tim. Oh, Roxy is back. Adele is back. Her mom says hi to everybody. That's very nice. You're hungry, Christina? Yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> yes, I am hungry too. And uh, yes, I know it is tough that Oh, you are with her right now. Yes, Mike. Unfortunately, not everybody. I've seen it on TV too. They have the mask on their mouth, but not their nose. And I think that doesn't do anything to them. So if you do that, why not do it properly? I don't, I don't get it. But what do I know, right? So... Say hi to your mom, Adele. Yeah, it could be a fashion statement like, look, I have it, but I'm okay. I don't know. It's very interesting. And uh, the way people think it's very interesting, let's put it that way. I just don't know what it'll take for some people to grasp the seriousness of the situation. And uh, it's really tough because I, I don't think even the experts know exactly how it affects us on the long term, how it is spread exactly. Because in the beginning it was, oh, there is no human to human. But as we can see, there is. And uh, I guess more research is needed. So we'll see. Mm, I can already smell the bread baking. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, Christina, I can't hurry up the baking process. It needs to happen. <laughs> and it still needs to cool a little bit. That's the tougher part, you know? Okay. 
Okay. What would you like? Okay, so yes, we have 10 to 12 more minutes going on here. I am hungry. Yeah, Tim and Mike, you should say hi to each other. And uh, you both are very good supporters, really good friends. If you guys don't know each other already. Say hi. And... Uh, Army wife was here earlier. I think she still is. And you guys can say hi to her also. Okay, Declan, no problem. In a sticks, where exactly are you at, Mike? I know you're in Washington State. You're not telling us, okay. <laughs> oh yeah when you're done <laughs> with work yeah i don't know we'll see how fast the bread cools down okay gotcha so you got the sunshine just as i do didn't you don't you i hope so i mean it depends which part of Seattle. i mean if you're North or south of Seattle, you may have sunshine or you may not. Yeah, I'm on the outskirts of Seattle also, but it's just as good. South, okay, so you may have a little sunshine going on there. <clears throat> hey. People who don't live in Canada or in Washington State don't understand how happy we are about the sunshine going on today. <laughs> I'm taking a look at the bread. It needs just a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's better than what we had yesterday, all that rain and the hail and the wind. I'll take this anytime. I take this anytime. Yes, so I'll... Just put away some stuff. Yes, I know, we have hail here, like serious hail. It looked like it snowed. Okay. I'm sure I passed it a few times, going down to Oregon or to the ocean, so. I'm sure I passed the town, Mike, but next time I'll honk 
<laughs> let you know I'm close. <laughs> I'm just putting away the stuff, you guys. I'm so, I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, I'm just going to be tempted to take the bread out before it's done. And that's not okay. Just because I'm out of patience. But, uh, yes. I am hungry. Let's put it that way. I haven't had breakfast. So now I'm just waiting to have lunch instead of breakfast and dinner. I'll have it for lunch and for dinner at the same time. Oh my goodness, there is an update about the spread across Louisiana. Those guys are in trouble. My goodness. And New York, my goodness, what is happening there? They've been locked down and all that stuff and it's still really really tough in New York I'm putting my toys away right now Yeah, they say keep your home clean. Um, my house is so clean right now. I've we've cleaned it quite a few times since all this happened. But um, I guess we'll clean it again just to keep ourselves busy. Things are happening, people. Oh, I wish you guys could smell the aroma of the bread baking. It is yummy. Need to keep my hands to myself. I want to open the oven and look at it, but no, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't do that. Mm. Okay. 
nice. Uh, oh. What else shall we talk about? Are you guys, thank you. Are you guys, I'm like, the gas is so low, but we can't go anywhere. So it's amazing how low the price of gas went. But we can't go anywhere. And when we will be able to go places, it'll probably go back up. So my Ellen says, one minute. Hang on just a second. Mm. Not yet. So I will give it another five minutes. So I did talk to my mom yesterday. There we go. Sorry about that, but I guess everybody is online. Yeah, so she is doing okay. She's in good spirits, though she is getting bored, but everybody's getting bored right now. And I call her often to keep her occupied and see how she's doing. Yes, for whatever, for a second there, I couldn't, I couldn't connect. I was not connected to the internet, I guess. It's getting kind of busy. So, yeah. And uh, my husband is ready to have a sandwich, but it's not ready yet. So he has to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> but, yeah. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. I am impatient myself, thank you very much. And you know he's gonna have to wait a little bit until the bread cools down. So, I'm so hungry. <laughs> we'll make it. We shall make it, you guys. We shall make it. Okay. Hang on. Roxy said something. Yes, they are. Good things are worth waiting for. I know. But we're getting there. I'm just getting ready for things. I know. <laughs> I know I want that bread also. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that that's the one bad thing about baking bread at home. You can't stop eating it. So kiss it and say pan. Adele's mom says that I'm doing well. Oh my God, uh, did you guys saw that thing on uh, Facebook? It was this dude went to wash his hands and every time he thought he was done, he touched something that he wasn't sure if it was clean. So he started cleaning that whole bathroom from top to bottom. It was so funny. Chocolo. Hoi Oh, that's so cute. I'm talking to Adele's mom. Ooh, my oven just beeped. Yeah, 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 Tim. 
I can't, I, yeah, I'm going to wait for the smart people to invent the phone that can do that. I can send food through the phone also. <laughs> has a few more seconds to go. <clears throat> it's almost ready. It is almost ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And here is the big moment, everybody. I'm just gonna turn it down so you guys can see the beautiful breads. Don't they look good? Yummy. I'm gonna give them one minute in the pan. To cool down. Mm. Yum. This is so good. I know, it does look so good. Okay. And there they are. And just so you guys know, when the bread is done, if you knock to the back of it, it's gonna sound hollow. So the bread is done, no need to do anything. Now we just have to wait for it to cool down a little bit so we can cut it up. Yes. I know, I'm like having a waterfall right now in my mouth. It's so, smells so, so good. You can't beat it. Even if you buy warm bread in the store, by the time you get home, it's cold, so. Yes, just give me one, just one second. <laughs> I know, I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen really fast. Yes. <laughs> Mike, you're so funny. Yes, it will happen fairly soon. I just wanna give it a second to kind of enjoy it. And 
it is too hot still to cut, but I'm just gonna turn it like this so you can guys can admire my handiwork. Mm, isn't that pretty? Love it. I'm gonna have to cut the ends, you know, because this part doesn't go into the sandwich maker, so I have to either eat it or discard it. Ha ha ha. Which is not gonna happen, of course. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Here, ready for the bread. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put this one aside so it can still cool. And we are gonna cut into our bread. Just listen to it. There it is. Should have let it cool down a little bit more. It just melts the butter right there. Yum. And just a little bit, take the edge off. See what he thinks. I'll be right back. There, there. Sure, sure, sure. Internet, it's not funny nowadays. <laughs> Make your funny. At this rate, I'm gonna eat the whole loaf without making sandwiches whatsoever. I know. Everybody is. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and then I won't be able to wait until the stores are opening to go and buy new clothes, right? If I eat both breads. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I should not quite yet
It is still a little bit on the too hot side of it, but that's okay. Just gonna start my sandwich. Preheat the sandwich maker. And we are gonna do a little bit of butter on one side. Spicy jalapeno cream cheese on one of them. And a regular cream cheese on the other one. Sure, tell your mom, yeah, she's welcome. Thank you for tuning in. And let's put some stuff here. And I'm gonna do half with ham and the other half with the other kind of cold cuts we have here. And I'm just going to place some in the Yum, yum, yum. Gonna add some more pickles right here on the side. Now you can add whatever you like to your sandwiches. Hi, Giancarlo Sabat Sabaton. Thank you for tuning in. Just in time for the sandwiches. I'll wait for the little lad to go off and then we'll be ready.
John say hi to Cat Roxy and Mike. Very nice friends of mine. And here are the sandwiches, you guys. I'm just going to cut one in two for the Ooh, hot there it is you guys hot sandwiches with freshly made bread. Yes, it is hot, but it's good. I will be right back. They're pretty. I know, but it's so good. So, here it is. Mm. Yum. Not bad. It was worth waiting for the bread because merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Adele. You guys can make the bread. It's not that hard, as you saw. And then, thank you, Christina. <laughs> I know, I know, Adam. There was a typo. Sometimes the autocorrect takes over whatever you want to say. But yes, these sandwiches are easy to make, even if you make your own bread, as you saw. Not much to do other than wait. Oh, my husband got his sandwich already because I made two sandwiches, one for me and one for him. <laughs> He's so nice. He's putting up with me doing all this stuff, so... He deserves a sandwich because he's such a nice man. And he doesn't know what I'm saying because he has um, the earbuds in. He's watching TV. So. Yes. I'm oh, pretty good gal myself. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think I'm a nice person too. It's not just my opinion. Mm. 
This is so good. Thank you so very much, you guys, for tuning in. And if you guys decide to make the bread, let me know how it turned out, if you liked it or not. And I know Christina is making a bread, a sourdough bread. So I'm very curious how that one is gonna turn out. Thank you, Adele, you're so cute. And thanks for bringing your mom on board watching the live chat. And look at this, I've made almost three hours again. Even being not very patient about it. Yes, it's so easy, Roxy. This bread is the easiest bread you can make. I modified it from my original recipe, but, um, and I used a little bit of milk in it just because, but if you don't have a mixer, you can do it by hand. It, you just have to work it just a tiny little bit more. You can use a regular hand mixer, standard mixer. You don't need a machine. You don't need the cast iron pot to, the lidded pot to make it. As you see, it's perfectly fine in a loaf pan it's um took me a little bit to modify it to get it just right but um and i did bake it for 35 minutes hand mixer it works just fine and use just one of the little pallet mixing pallets don't put them both in there just use it with one and mix it a little bit you don't you can even do it with like a wooden spoon or whatever. That's a good idea, Mike. I do not have a bread making machine, so, and uh, I'm really happy with my bread, so I don't think I'm gonna buy one. The only difference I think it is that you put everything in there and just forget about it after you program it. But being at home and not going anywhere, it makes no difference. And um, you can do other stuff. You know, check your emails or whatever while you're waiting for the bread to rise and just put a timer in there. No big deal. But yes, you can let it, I, I put it to rise for an hour, half an hour, and another hour should I have been. It's, you can leave it a little bit longer, a little bit less, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, yeah, 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 Mike, you're the thrift buying expert. But you don't even need that. You can, as I'm saying. Mm. Adele, it's one hour. So you mix it, you let it rise for an hour. Then you mix it again, you let it rise for half an hour. And then you put it in a loaf pan and you let it rise in one hour also. So it's actually two and a half hours of rising all together. It's just broken up. And then I baked it for 35 minutes. And that's it, no big deal. You can use whatever flour you want and you can as I was saying you can add nuts like uh, sunflower seeds or um, you can do pumpkin seeds you can do some sesame on top of it whatever you want or you can just do like sea salt or pink salt 
whatever strikes your fancy. And uh, it's always good and always fresh. Thank you so very much, guys, for sticking with me. Thanks for visiting. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, John. Oh, I started my live stream at 10 Pacific Standard Time. So, almost three hours ago. Almost three hours ago. So, yes, I have, Roxy says I need to stay the whole three hours. That's 10 more minutes as per the clock. Yes, I, uh, <laughs> Bye, Army Wife. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I'm in Seattle right now. Where are you, Giancarlo? Bye, Christina. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching it all the way through. <sighs> And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is far away. Hmm. What time is there now? Oh my goodness, it's 11 o'clock at night. That is late. But thank you so very much for coming. <coughs> Excuse me. I just had to sneeze. Why not? <clears throat> Nothing to worry about, just a little bit of too much sunshine. <laughs> no, Roxy. Um, John, it's in the PM in Saudi Arabia. It's almost midnight. Mm. 11 PM. Thank you so very much for visiting i'll see you next time and i'll make sure to visit your uploads thank you so very much have a good night stay safe Now I'm going to have to go and take a nap. I am just in a food coma right now. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Thank you so very much. Jack is probably just getting off work. Just about right now. I know. Bye, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roxy, you can talk Hungarian to Christina, just so you know. <laughs> I'm working really hard at it, Adele, right now. It says that I need seven more minutes or so. Yes, I know it is easier to 
I write in English just because of the special characters in um, the Hungarian language. That one makes it just a little bit slower to type. But yeah, I can't, I don't have a chair to sit down in my kitchen because uh, yeah, I sit down and work quite a bit. I'm, you know, I'm not standing for my job. So I try not to sit too much when I cannot. Yes, you are so right. If you're using predicting vocabulary, it will definitely be easier in English. So, I think after all this hard work, I am gonna have to have a little bit of, oh yeah, I had a cramp in my leg last time. Figure it happens when I'm live, why not? just because it's so much fun, right? <laughs> yes, oh, okay. I need to clean all this stuff up. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, I'll prepare a chair. <laughs> you're a funny girl. You are such a funny girl. I know, you're, you wanna keep me here for as long as you can, but. I know that's what you're saying, but uh, I'll work on it, okay? No problem. I will absolutely work on it. I'm going to have to go and visit everybody after this and uh, connect with some people. <laughs> You're so funny, Adele. Yeah, it's not gonna happen another two hours. Come on. I am. I did very well for somebody who's not used to doing this. It's true, it's my third live stream, but it's. Uh, Usually I have a lot of uh... Yeah, no, I have three more minutes, Adele. I'm gonna stick here for another three more minutes, so it's exactly three hours, okay? Okay. <laughs> I know. I am gonna stick it out for to make the whole three hours. And then I'm gonna go and visit with everybody on their own channel. Say hi to the new viewers. Hi, Aurora. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I just finished up, but you can check out the bread recipe and the final result in just a little bit but thank you so very much for stopping by very lovely very nice of you and say hi to my friends cat roxy jacqueline tim mike 
John. They are very, very nice friends and they will say hi right back to you. So yeah, for next time I need to really do prepare. <laughs> I know it's um, not easy. Like maybe next time I'll do something else and not cooking or baking or we'll see. It is, see Jacqueline, Jacqueline, I'm still here. <laughs> I know, where are you from Aurora? Where are you watching from? <laughs> oh, from Canada. Oh, cool. Jacqueline is from Canada also. Hi, Team Pool. Say hi to Aurora. Aurora, say hi to Team Pool. Very, very nice friend sticking all the way through the end. Very nice. I really do appreciate it. There you go. She, Aurora probably just got off work. <laughs> she thought of checking in. Yeah, she's back. And I'm lagging right now. Thank you, Jacqueline. Me, I'm in Seattle right now. Where are you from? Other than Canada, which part of Canada? Oh. <laughs> Alberta Edmonton okay so you're closer to you're in between Seattle and in between me and Jacqueline that's so funny yes Jacqueline you're gonna have to see it again <laughs> Thank you so very much again, you guys. I really, really enjoyed chatting with you. And I will definitely visit you guys. Yes, I did the three hours. I did. You're driving, Jacqueline? You shouldn't. <laughs> I've been on for three hours. Yes, I uh, end two minutes. So, hey, hey. Thanks. I try, I try. 
I try to do good. I'll do my princess wave. Bye, guys. And uh, I'll see you soon on your own channels. And then see you next time. Thank you so very much. Have a nice afternoon, evening, or morning, depending on where you're at. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. I'll be over there and see you in a little bit. Bye.